Hello everyone, this is Anushri and this is Medha and we on behalf of the Beaming Notes team can't thank you enough for your overwhelming support over the past few years. It is because of your love and appreciation that we have been able to launch our very own YouTube channel. And we need your support this time as well. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button and show us some love. And now, let's head over to the video. Hey everybody, welcome to Beaming Notes. And today, we are going to look at the solved questions of The Portrait of a Lady, a story by Kushwan Singh. Solve short questions. Why was it hard for the writer to believe that his grandmother was once young and pretty? The writer had seen his grandmother old for the last 20 years. Her face was wrinkled and her locks were silver. The writer's mind refused to accept the fact that his grandmother used to play games as a child. He felt that his grandmother already looked so old as if she could never grow any older. Considering all these, it became very difficult for him to picture his grandmother a young and pretty woman. What was the turning point in the writer's friendship with his grandmother? The turning point in the writer's friendship with his grandmother was when they moved to the city. The only thing that remained unchanged was their common bedroom. His grandmother no longer accompanied him to school as he went to an English school in a bus. She could not help him with his lessons anymore as she did not believe in signs that was taught in the writer's school. She disapproved the modern system of education and gradually they saw less of each other. How did the author and his grandmother spend time together before going to the city? When the author used to stay with his grandmother alone, she used to wake him up every morning and used to get him ready for school. She bathed him and dressed him up. She used to utter her prayers in the hope that the author would learn it. She served him breakfast and accompanied him to school as his school was attached to the temple. While the author sat in the veranda singing alphabets or prayers in chorus, his grandmother sat inside reading scriptures. On their way back home, they used to feed the village dogs with the stale chapatis that the author's grandmother carried. When people are pious and good, even nature mourns their death. Justify. When the grandmother died, her body was kept on the floor wrapped in a red shroud. Thousands of sparrows sat scattered on the floor around her body but there was no chirping. The sparrows mourned the loss along with the author's family. The author's mother attempted to feed the sparrows some breadcrumbs but they took no notice of it. After the grandmother's body was carried off, the sparrows flew away quietly. How did the grandmother spend her day in the city? When the writer and the grandmother moved to the city, she rarely let the spinning wheel to talk to anyone. She sat by the wheel spinning and reciting prayers. However, the only time she relaxed was in the afternoon when she went to feed the sparrows. She never shooed the birds away. Solve Long Questions why was the grandmother upset when the writer started going to the city school? When the author came back home from school, his grandmother used to ask him what he learned in school. In reply, when the author used to tell her English words and science-related terms, she used to become upset. She did not believe in science and was distressed that they were not taught about God and scriptures in school. She could no longer help her grandson with his lessons and she did not have any knowledge in these areas. She detested the fact that the author was given music lessons in school. According to her, music was only for harlots and beggars and not for gentle folk. She liked it when she used to go to school with the author where he learnt alphabets and prayers. She is not at all pleased with the modern system of education that teaches the law of gravity, Archimedes' principle and other science-related facts instead of teaching religious scriptures. 
As a result, she rarely talked to the writer after that and spent most of her time on the spinning wheel. Describe the change in the relationship of the writer and his grandmother. When the author was young, he used to live with his grandmother and they used to spend a lot of time together. She used to wake him up, get him dressed and served him breakfast. She accompanied him to school where the author sat in the veranda learning alphabets and prayers and she sat inside reading the scriptures. After they had both finished, they used to walk back home together. However, when they moved to the city, situations changed drastically. They used to share the same room, but the grandmother could not accompany the author to the school anymore as he went by the school bus. She wasn't happy with what was being taught at the school. She did not understand English and she did not believe in science. She was severely distressed at the fact that the author was taking music lessons in school. She did not protest vehemently, but her silence meant disapproval. After the author went to the university, she rarely talked to anyone and spent most of her time spinning and praying. When the writer was going abroad, she came to the station to see him off, but did not show any emotion and did not speak a word. She only kissed his forehead. The author cherished the kiss as the last sign of physical contact between them as he was going to come back after five years. When he returned, the grandmother was delighted to see him. In the evening, she decided to beat the drum and sing for hours with the woman from her neighborhood.